Hello guys, today I'm going to share a product review for this frame dumbbell rack. So I'm going to share what I have been experiencing with this uh, dumbbell rack for five months. And also as a courtesy for my subscribers, I'm going to provide a brief tutorial about my personal experience assembling this product. I think that this frame rack easy to assemble. The diversity of dumbbells was good for a house or just like a small gym in an office. Uh, the product design is excellent and the quality is excellent. So I think that overall this is a very good product. Uh, now I'm going to start with the brief a demonstration of how I assemble it. It is recommended to use the hard copy instructions manual that comes in the box. This is the official company's manual and that I'm showing here. And I am going to follow the same things that are written in this video. As you can see, the product comes in multiple boxes, A, B, C, and it also comes with the dumbbells. After we conclude unboxing all the pieces, we have to verify that everything that's listed on the manual came in the box, because if we start assembling the product and some pieces are missing, we lose our time and effort. So it is very important to verify that everything came in the box before we assemble. Now, let's revise the list of elements as shown in the manual. As you can see, this is the side view and the front view for the two frame supports that are labeled as number five in the user's manual. This is the front view for the center cross base labeled as number six in the manual. This is the side view and the front view for the two main frames labeled as number one in the manual. This is the side view, back view, and front view for the top end cap labeled as number three in the manual. And finally, this is the back with the hardware, and you can see the actual picture and also the manual as it describes the content. It has the bolts, washers, nuts, and the wrench as specified. The numbers are 10, 9, 7, 8, and 11 as you can see in true hard copy and also in this picture. Now, the first step is to connect the two frame supports labeled as number five to the center cross base labeled as number six. You can see both pieces in this picture and remember to use the bolts, washers and nuts on each side as specified in this picture. I'm going to show part of the process in video. The second step is to insert the two main frames labeled as number one that I'm showing in this picture into the U-frame that we previously assembled in step number one. So we're going to insert these two frames into what we assembled before. And finally, the step number three is to place the top end cap that I'm showing in this picture into the top of the main frame. So now secure them with bolts number seven and eight washers number eight. Also use for nuts number nine uh, to put everything together. This piece is going to secure the structure closed and to provide a top to the structure.
Now we have the finalized product, as you can see here. I think that this is a really cool exercise tool that you can have at home or even in a small gym, office. I have been trying this out and it's actually really good. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you like this product or would like to purchase it, I would appreciate if you use my Amazon Associates link. That's in the description of this video and um, it's going to be the same price for you but it will contribute to my work in youtube to continue making these videos and other free contents for students for example my series about physics and electronics thank you very much and i hope that you have a great day